Hello YouTubers, yes this is Teclom again and this time around I'm going to continue this series on the C230 Mercedes-Benz compressor. Now I told you that I'm going to bring you some solutions concerning that car. I've told you before I've gone through so many things with the car and today I want to talk about the throttle body and the pedal now but before you start any of these things you have to get a diagnostic kit what i have here is Altel all systems diagnostic kit this thing helps me to diagnose the car I plug it into the, uh, the computer of the car and I can be able to find out what the problem of the car is. So from there, I go in to check the parts which have the defect, then replace them, fix them, or sometimes lift them. Okay, now um, let me show you what this kit looks like now this is what it looks like this is a diagnostic kit for that, that I use to diagnose the car so you can get this for just check on Amazon and you can get it maybe I'll put the link at the description of this video so maybe you can find out how to get it and do yourself some good okay so when you diagnose the car with this and it shows you an error there is a certain error that it will show and I'm going to display it on the screen for you it's right there on the screen that error shows that the the uh, pedal is not communicating well with the throttle body so when the pedal is not synchronizing with the throttle body the car tends to drag or lose proportion or lose acceleration so it, it starts to get slow and that can be very very annoying you can't you know allow this supercar to slow you down on the highway on the road and it can be very frustrating that you'll be pedaling accelerating very hard and nothing is happening so this time around i want to show you how to diagnose it and how to solve the problem okay now this is the pedal this is exactly what you see this is what you step on this is what your foot steps on like this now beside it here is a sensor this is the sensor that sends the message to the computer of the car so when you press on this with your foot when you accelerate like this it sends some electrical signals to the system of the car so the harder or the more you press this the more the voltages that are sent and the more the car moves faster i think you get what i mean okay so this is a throttle body this is a throttle body now there is a hose an air hose that goes out like this and this is the opening that attaches to the engine like this so this is a control it has a sensor cable slot here or plug where you plug in the cable that communicates to the to the computer of the car so when these two communicate it helps the car to boost now how does it happen now when you press the foot press the pedal of your car 
if you look in between you see something here that moves in and out you see it moving can you see that it's moving so when you press that with your foot when you pedal the you pedal the accelerator this thing is opened up opened up to allow more air into the engine so the more the air moves into the engine the faster the car moves the more the engine you know propel, propels the car so if you accelerate or pedal the car and this thing refuses to open open up like this then the car will be quite slow because the communication between this and uh, this pedal is lost so just a little bit of air can pass through this and it will be having some three seconds delay to move so the car will be moving very slowly very very slowly with this thing closed but each time you pedal it like this and this thing is wide open your car moves very fast so the way this thing opens and closes is what determines the speed of that car and this is the throttle body the throttle body this is what actually helps your engine to run faster in the C230 compressor 2003 model just like the one I own okay so you know somehow I want to dive into the internals of this throttle body to show you some defects that this throttle body can have that you may be able to fix or when you see them you can either fix it or replace it I think um, fixing can work replacement can also work so I'll go into that now to show you all those things you have to do right here in the throttle body to fix this problem now I just want to do a little disclaimer because sometimes the math the mass air flow can also cause similar issues but what you get from your diagnosis with this tool can tell you the difference between the mass airflow and the throttle body so the difference in the diagnosis shows you the difference so when you diagnose with this the computer of the car will tell you what you're dealing with exactly so that you don't miss you know to repair your car or just do anything you like so let's dive into the internals of this is the throttle body now i'm trying to open it with um, some screw drivers if you look very well you have to be very careful you have to use a very thin screwdriver i tried this it didn't work i had to get a thinner one which was a tester screwdriver so now this throttle body comes with six clips this metal clips holds the sensor in place to the body of the throttle so now I'm about to pop out the last one and um, you can see what they look like let me just put them aside and show you the internals of this now you have to be very careful the way you open this because there are a lot of things that can damage there now if you look at these internals you see the gears and the sensor kind of a gauge right there let me put the gauge okay now 
look it out you see the gauge there that's what shows the extent of opening and closing of your throttle body now these are the connectors this connects to the motor that drives the opening now this gear connects the body of the the opening to the motor and which the sensor controls so sometimes you see the way i'm pointing right now can be damaged such that the damage can cause the disagreement between the throttle body and the pedal so this gear is a very important one sometimes you get one that's damaged and sometimes it may not be able to move this particular gear now this is the motor that's you can see the full length of the motor that's the gear of the motor that spins the gear that turns this particular opening device you can see very well how it works now as it opens and closes you have to be careful when you're touching this thing because you can actually s snip up your fingers uh, this is the other side of the opening where the air flows in from while you pedal the car uh, that's the the connectors which rhyme with those connectors there to the motor to supply power to the motor now i want to replace this back so you can see how it looks like now with those connectors now you see this is the pedal now this is where you actually step on while you're driving the car uh, that thing is the downshift button right there and um, this is the sensor itself this is the body of the sensor this is what transfers i've shown you the internals of the throttle body of the c230 compressor and now you know better about the pedal and the throttle body now when the means communicate your car tends to slow down a car loses its boost now it boosts less so this time around you can know how to fix it from the throttle body and i hope that will, that answers your problem your questions but if you still have more questions please don't hesitate to write it in the comments i will be there to answer you i'm sorry for doing this video very late but please bear with me because I'm a veterinary doctor and I have a lot of work to do, so I have a lot of bills to pay also. I don't think YouTube gives me that kind of money yet, <laughs> but I hope so. So uh, for now, I'll do this at my own pace. Just write something in the comments if you have any other questions. So thank you for viewing and see you at the next one. Peace.